Yo, what up everybody? Fish Kitten with Alex here. How's everybody doing? We are in a different location today. As you guys can see, we are in the fish room. That is right. I'm going to be doing an update on the fish room. A very long, a very long awaited update. So guys, this is going to be um, Fish Kitten with Alex Fish Rooms Update Part 1. So we're going to do all different part videos showing you guys um, steps to breeding and all this kind of stuff, my pro my journey and my progress. So we're going to be doing like breeding, selecting the fish and everything like that. So guys, as you can see we have got some goldfish in here. Now the reason for that is goldfish will actually help your tank to cycle. So from what I want to do, I want to get the tank cycled and with goldfish we can do that. So they're going to help us cycle the process. As you guys can see in here, we have got more goldfish in this tank, and there is a baby goldfish. I did not have babies. I brought some baby goldfishes. Then I brought big ones, and then we got more goldfish. Some goldfish in that tank, and guys, we also moved the two foot and put the two foot out in here. So I painted the background blue. So this tank's pretty much cycled. So I can start buying some fish and cycle this tank. Now we had these all set up and running on the 26th of June, these five tanks. So it's been a couple of days now. So we're going to keep doing these and all that. So I'm going to get into detail about the filter that I'm doing. And we're going to look about the filter and talk a bit about it. Then we're going to talk about how I'm running the whole system, the filters and that. So at the moment, I'm running in with two air pumps. As you guys can see, I've got airline going right through, which I'll put the light on. I've got airline going right through. And as you guys can see, there's the, air, and the start of the airline, sorry. So I've got the air pump which is actually getting currently checked as there's like a lot of dust in it from the friend who gave it to me but it's really cool it's, it does the job but we just got to fix it up so I'm getting someone to check it and they're going to fix it for me so here's the end of the airline the airline tube so I've got 10 10 I've got 11 I've got, sorry, I've got 11 tanks running. I want to do 12 or even more. I've got a few left over down there. I'm cleaning the garage as well. So cleaning it all, making room, so it's getting there. So guys, let's have a look at the filter. So in this filter, we have got sponge, bio balls, noodles, and a um, soft, meshy sponge. In this one, we have got sponge, bio balls, then that mesh stuff. So I didn't really need the bio balls, but I put them in because I had to. I wanted to use them up. So that's going to be the side filter. So as you guys can see, there is the filter, the water coming out. There's the intake part, and there's the outlet part. So what happens? The water gets filled up into there, it drops into there, drops into there, goes right through down the bottom, up and then out. And then also you got your drainage pipe, which is a nightmare at the moment. I put taps on it because it is leaking. So as you guys can see, it is leaking. So I had this whole room was flooded yesterday. I did my first water changes on them and they pretty much got flooded so there's me I'm like oh crap so I had to clear it all out this was all flooded on the floor you can still see a bit of water it's dried up but it was flooded um, I overfilled one of the tanks then I overfilled this tank so I'm still trying to get my head around these small tanks now on a four foot so my four foot's going really well as well so yeah so I'm sorry about I've uh, been doing many updates on the fish room, but I'm promising you we are going to do this as part one. We've got many more fish room videos to happen. 
I still got to set up these tanks. So I might do a process of me setting up these tanks and show you guys how to do it. Or if you guys would like, I'll just set them all up and then we can just see how they're all running in that. So my plan is that this rows, these rows here are going to be breeding and these rows are going to be fry. But I think this one is going to be breeding as well because this has already been set up. So I've got some white rock in there to buffer the pH of course. You need to have that nice steady pH at about 8.0 to 8.4. But mine generally sit around at 7.6 so that's not bad. It's still low but it's okay. I've also got some coral sand. As you guys can see. Some coral sand in a bag. So that they will go in the tanks later on. Um, making sure I've got no ammonia and that will also help buffer up the pH so we can get out that nice consistent 8.0 even though it's if it's still at 7.8 even better but guys so I haven't put the heaters in yet the reason for that is because it's 11.9 degrees Celsius so I don't really want to put the heaters in now because it will stuff the, it'll run it more, it'll run a lot more, so it'll cause a lot of problems. So that's going to be the end of the fish room update, and I hope you guys are excited as much as I am. And keep those likes coming and the subscribers, I really appreciate all that. And I hope to see you guys in the next video of our fish room part one video, and part two is going to be a whole heap more. Thanks for watching.